When I uh, came in, uh, about five people said, are you going to tell that famous story? I've made my whole living on one story. They invited me here just to tell one story. It's about my home church. You've been a very good audience, but you're not like my home church. I belong to an African-American church in West Philadelphia. I didn't join it. It was a white church. But you people all moved in on my neighborhood. You kept on moving in, and all the white folk moved out. And we were the only white family left. My father wouldn't leave the church. He had donated the offering plates. We weren't going to leave them to you. And it's fun to preach in my church. It's been fun here, but not like my church. My church is about this size, but the deacons sit right up front. And every time you say something good, the deacons yell, Preach! Preach, brother! Preach! I would have done so much better if my deacons had been here today. And the women in my church, when you say something good, they do this. They wave in the air. They go, well, that's all. Just, well. You say, that doesn't sound like much. You get 50, 60, 70 women going, well, your hormones bubble. And the men in my church, when you are, as my pastor says, when you've gotten down, they actually stand up and they point at you and they yell, keep going, man, keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't get that from white people. White people do not yell, keep going. They yell, stop, stop. <laughs> once a year in my <laughs> once a year in my church, we have this preach off. You don't even know what they are. That's when you get about seven or eight preachers and you preach back to back to see who's best. You never say that. You say it's for the glory of God. <laughs> but we know what it's about. And people, it was my turn. And I got up, and I don't want to brag, people. I don't want to brag, but I was good. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was good because women were going well, and men were going, keep going, and deacons were yelling, preach, and I feed on that stuff. The more they did it, the better I got. The better I got, the more they did it. I kept getting better and better and better. People, I got so good, I wanted to take notes on me. <laughs> And when I finished, the place exploded. There was cheering and clapping. And I sat down. My pastor hit my knee. He said, you did all right, man. You did all right. I said, you're next, pastor. You're going to be able to top that? He said, son, sit back. Because the old man is going to do you in. Now, people, I don't want to knock it. But I was so hot that day, I didn't figure anybody could do me in. That sucker got up, and for the next hour and a half, he did me in with one line, just one line over and over again. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Doesn't sound like much, but you weren't there. He said it was Friday. Friday, Jesus was dead on the cross, but that's because it was Friday. Sunday's coming. Somebody yell, keep going, keep going. That's all he needed. He took off. Friday. Friday, people are saying, as things have been, so they shall be. But that's because it's only Friday. Sunday's coming. Friday. Friday. The evil giants, the dark giants we've been talking about today, they rule the world, but, and they think they're in charge. But people, I'm here to tell you, it's only Friday. It's only Friday. Sunday's coming. Now, I, I thought I'd get a little more out of you than that. I think we got to de this crowd here. I'll give you one more shot. A bunch of folks meeting at the fairgrounds in Pretoria in the name of Jesus cannot change a nation, cannot turn history around, but I'm here to tell you, it's only Friday! 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 Sunday's coming! People, he had us going. When he finished that sermon, I was totally exhausted. I still remember him ending by yelling, it's Friday! And all 2,000 of us in that church yelled back, Sunday's coming, and that's the good news. When we are people with mission, when we are people who are inspired by the love of Jesus, when we are willing to take the realistic steps for economic development among the poor, when we are willing to be realistic in this world, the world will change, and it's got good news. And the good news is here for you to declare. I want to hear it from you people. I want to hear it from you. The good news is this. It's Friday, but...